Hello, hello, Periscope. What's up, everybody? What is up? I am at work. I am tired. I got my hair pulled back. You know, it's kind of, you know, just in just in a bun. Welcome, welcome. How you doing, Mini Just Two Two Seven? How you doing, E Farmer? God bless you. Yeah, I'm just at work. Um, I'm tired. I ate too many cinnamon rolls, <laughs> so my stomach kind of hurt. But hi, Melinda. How are you doing, sis? God bless you. Hi, uh, Kirkin Slim. I don't know. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, if for y'all don't know me, I'm Kimberly Hargraves, and I am just at work. And I just wanted to just give you some, um, some encouragement. Um, I'm kind of tired. My hair is kind of nappy. You know, just. Got it up, but I just thank everybody. Um, thank you, Minister Melinda, for calling in to, God bless you too, for calling in to the prayer call this morning. God showed up and God showed out. People were healed this morning. People were delivered. So I just thank God for that. Hallelujah. Just for, you know, just for using me and other ministers. How you doing, Miss May? Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Just for the hearts. Yeah, I just thank God for just using me. Hallelujah. Yes. How you doing, Elizabeth? God bless you. God bless you. Yes. Well, I just want to just give you a word of encouragement. You know, the Lord placed a, you know, a word in my heart. Yes, hallelujah. Yes, God did show up. Yes. And I just want to talk about, you know, a little bit about my book. Um, I just thank God, hallelujah, that the book that the Lord blessed me to write, it's doing good, actually. Because I remember a time when people didn't even want to buy my book. But let me tell you something. God is moving. God is moving. And I'm in this chapel. I like coming in this chapel. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's like a little stand, but yeah, and all these empty chairs in here. Yeah, but anyways, God is moving. Let me tell you something. God is moving. If you just keep going to course. Hi, Apostle. God bless you. I'm so sorry I missed your call today. I was knocked out. Yeah, I'm at work. I got to do a 12-hour shift. I don't get off till 7 o'clock in the morning. So I'm just, I don't know, it's kind of sleepy. But anyways... Um, I'm going to drink my caffeine after this, after I make this video, but yes, but let me tell you, God is moving. Just stay the course. Whatever God has told you to do, just stay the course. Stay the course. Now, God, he gave me a list of books to write. So I remember my first couple of books, nobody wasn't buying them. No one was buying, buying them at all. But this next book, this last book I just released, Obedience is Key, people are buying these books. So I just thank God for that. So I just want to tell somebody just to stay the course. And this is the book. I don't know if you can see it. Obedience is key. It is coming on Kindle soon. Now, the enemy doesn't want y'all to get this book. Be because since I released this book, I have been I I've been getting attacked. Hallelujah. My computer crashed. My internet stopped working at my home. Ain't nothing wrong with my internet. It's just the enemy's trying to attack me because it's what's in the book. It is what's in this book. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit has given me revelation. Hallelujah. Because when we obey God, blessings follow. Let me say that again. When we obey God, blessings follow. It's not always uh, uh, spiritual blessings, but it's also physical as well. Hallelujah. I remember one time God told me to do something absolutely ridiculous. Come on now. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you for getting the book. I love you. Yes. Thank you so much for your support. So anyways, when I obey God, hallelujah, I got a double blessing. I got 340 extra dollars. Come on, somebody. So whenever you obey God, there's a blessing. There is a blessing at following it. Amen. So I just want to tell somebody to stay the course. It may look dark right now. It may look gloomy. It may, it may look like nothing's happening, but just stay the course. Amen. But that's not even my word. That's what the Holy Spirit led me to say. I wanted to tell somebody just to come out. Change starts with you. Come out of what you're going in. Hallelujah. If you're depressed, you got to make a choice. You got to make a decision. I'm not going to be depressed no more. God, I'm not going to be depressed anymore. I, I don't want to be in bondage anymore. I don't want to be in oppression anymore. Come on. Deliverance starts with you. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So I just want to talk about my other book. Hallelujah. Before I keep y'all too long. Um, Daily prayers that bring changes. I don't know if you can see this or not, but this is also on Amazon. Hallelujah. And the Lord blessed me to write this book because, you know, there's a lot of things around us, our school system, our jobs, our businesses, and things are not going to change until we make a decision 
that we're, we're going to change it, right? Hallelujah. So, yes, thank you for joining. Thank you, uh, Mia. Thank you. I love you much. Thank you. Hallelujah. So I had to make a choice. And I was like, God, I'm not going to live like this. I was going through a bad storm. You know, my kid's father was treating me like crap. You know, so I made a decision. Enough is enough. So I'm here to tell you, this is the word the Holy Spirit gave me. To tell somebody to come out. That's it. Change begins with you. You got to make a sound mind, a sound, a sound decision. Like, God, okay, I'm going to trust you, God. I'm going to stand on your word. Hallelujah. Yes. And I'm, I'm going to come out. So God is saying, come out. Amen. So I'm not going to keep you too long because I got to get ready to go back to work. Hallelujah. I got to try to drink some coffee. Um, I know I'm, I'm hooked on caffeine. Y'all pray for me. I need yeah, help with that. That's my weakness. I love caffeine. So anyways, um, I just want to give you this word, um, you know, about folks who got to do better. You know, God has blessed us to be a blessing. You know, God, hallelujah, yes, come out. Yes, we got to come out. Enough is enough. We're going to stand up, hallelujah, and we're going to fight the good fight of faith. We're not going to give up. We're going to keep pressing through, hallelujah. We're going to keep the course, hallelujah. But I want to give you this word from Proverbs 3, verse 27. It says, we'll hold no good thing from them to whom it's due, to whom it is due, when it's in the power of your hands to do it. Yes, no more distractions, no more delays. Right. Now, it's sad, you know, many people in the body of Christ, we got to get it together. You know, God blesses you so you can bless the poor. He blesses you so you can bless your brother and sister in need. You know, it's many times in, in my storm that, you know, for example, I was, I was home, homeless almost five or six times. No one would help me. No one would help me when they had the power to do so. Hallelujah. So we got to do better. You know, especially if you're bragging about your money. Oh, yeah, this and that, that, you know. Come on, we got to do better. One thing about me, every time God blesses me, I don't care. I'm, I'm always giving. Hallelujah. Because I know what the word says. The word says, when we give, it shall be given back to us, right? Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, shall men pour into our bosoms. So every time God has blessed me, I give. Hallelujah. I don't care if I have an extra $5 in my pocket. I'm going to give it to a homeless person on the streets. You know, that's, that's the kind of heart, you know, that, you know, God loves. Because if you have compassion for the poor, God is going to have compassion on you. He's going to bless you. Amen. Glory to God. And that's scriptural. Hallelujah. You know, whew, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm going another direction. Jesus, I just feel the anointing. Glory to God. But I just want to tell somebody just, you know, when, whenever God blesses you. Hi, God bless you. Nice to meet you. I'm Kim. Hallelujah. Just be compassionate and just give. Hallelujah. Just give. Hallelujah. I know it's not a popular message, but give. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the people. Bless people that's less fortunate than you. Hallelujah. You know? Oh, that's that's my work phone. Hold on a second. I know it's kind of ghetto. Hallelujah. Hold on. <laughs> Kim from Respiratory. Okay. They hung up. Anyways, well, let me get off this um scope. I thank everybody for um supporting, calling in. I love y'all much. I am getting ready to go in prayer after I take this return, this phone call back. I actually got a list of a blank sheet of paper. And if you want me to pray for you tonight, if you got a special request, write it down right quick. And I'm going to go back on the scope and I am going to go pray. I'm about to get on my face tonight. But I got a blank paper. Uh, what I was going to do tonight, it's just a blank sheet of paper. I was going to write Huckabba 2-3. Just write the vision down. Make it plain. You know, do it. Uh, Terry, it's going to surely come to pass. So if you have any special requests, inbox me on Facebook um, at the midnight hour. I'm going to come back in here on my next break, and I'm just going to write names. I'm going to write your prayer requests. Okay, amen, good. Watch the replay. And I'm going to lay hands on this. Hallelujah. I just feel the Holy Spirit all over me. So I'm believing that God is going to move and he's going to show out because some people that are connected to me have 911 situations. They have 911 situations. And I know some things are not going to come to pass until you write it down. One of the things, like for me, for instance, you know, the Lord blessed me to do a magazine. He gave me the vision. I wrote it down. And it has surely came to pass. So, yes, inbox it to me, please. Yes, so um, I'm going to be praying maybe about the next 30 minutes. I'm going to start about then. But I'm going to be praying pretty much all on my break. You know, it's a slow night. I thank God it's a slow night. I don't have many patients to see. Yes. I don't know. Are you my friend on Facebook? Kimberly Harvard, send me a message. 
Yes, yes, keep writing. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so I just thank God I came into work and I don't have much work to do. I don't have any medicines to give. You know, I only have like two breathing machines to check on. So that's awesome. So I'm going to be in here just chilling for the rest of the night pretty much. So I love you and I thank everybody for calling in. Thank you for the hearts. Go get my books. You know, I thank you so much for the support. Hallelujah. I just thank God for what he's going to do. I just thank God. Hallelujah. So I love you all.